Welcome to my channel folks. Today we are going to discuss about a project that I recently was working on and this was related to a data migration one of my clients wanted. So first I'm going to explain to you what was the requirements and how we looked at the options and finally came up with the solution for this project. So let us go ahead and see the client requirements first. So this client was on a particular continent and you can see here on the left hand side they had business offices in multiple places and some of the business offices had huge amounts of data of the ranges of 100 terabytes and some of the business offices had about databases or data storage which is of the size of 10 terabytes so definitely we are not looking about a small customer a big customer with a lot of data spread across a huge amount of a geographical region and the requirement here was the client wanted to move all this data to AWS. So they wanted to have all of the data consolidated into the cloud and they wanted to have the data lake into the cloud so that they can perform some analytic solutions and have some business insights into the data. So this is the broad level requirement. So if I have to summarize it, it looks like this. They had overall 300 plus terabytes of data spread over multiple locations and they wanted the data to be transported securely uh, in efficient manner that they can go ahead and use the cloud storage and leverage the cloud capabilities that comes along with using cloud native services. Then the next uh, requirement that the client gave us was that is all the users in the different places or all business users, they don't have any technical knowledge of how to move the data or how to take a snapshot or how to copy them. So in other words, they contacted us so that we can deal with all the technical aspects and the client can focus only on the business aspects of it. So we absolutely had no support in terms of technical knowledge on each of those different locations. And then the next requirement or the next criteria that the client gave us was they had a corporate VPN connecting all the different sites together. So if they said that if we wanted, we can leverage that. But that also came with a caveat that the corporate business traffic or the VPN can only be used when the corporate business traffic is not being utilized. That means that in a typical day, 8 to 12 hours when the business traffic is happening, we cannot use the VPN for moving the data around. We will have to work around the business hours and then we have to move it only in the remaining time. But given that our data size is about 300 terabytes, that is going to impose a big constraint on our requirement. So these are the requirements and in short move all the data to the cloud as if we can put it in one line. So how do I do that? So this is where the interesting question comes in. How do I exactly do it? How, what, where should I start? What are the tools do I have? So that are the questions that comes to my mind when I'm faced with such a big problems. So in the next video, I'm going to show you what are all the different tools are available or what are the different tools offered by Amazon that we can go ahead and choose and which tool we eventually choose for this solution. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. See you in the next video.